Hey guys, it's Jenny Wallach with the Wallach Group, Keller Williams Realty in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Thanks so much for coming back and checking out this latest episode of Agent Success Secrets. Today I'm here with someone who pours into agents and really helps us grow when it comes to technology and empowering us with tools. And I'm excited to introduce Jay Cermak. How are you, Jay? I'm great. How are you, Jenny? <laughs> I am so excited that you just said yes when I asked. And <laughs> um, we met almost a year ago now at Instructor Development Workshop. And I'm usually the, the nerdy girl on the front row, and you beat me to it. I was so, <laughs> <laughs> and you were using video, and I was like, hmm, I like him. He's, he's got something going on here. So tell us what is how in the world you got into this business that you get to help us and uh, what your path looks like right now. Awesome, I love that. So um, for me, my path has been so far, um, nine years a real estate agent, um, actually started in Ohio, Columbus, Ohio. I was licensed with a couple other companies, non-KW. Um, I learned a lot about uh, um, that training and support is important to you and I didn't get those where I was. <laughs> um, so when I relocated to South Florida in Fort Lauderdale, um, just by chance, I happened to respond to a Craigslist ad where they were looking for agents, and it was a KW agent. And it was someone who's my sponsor for Keller Williams, um, Chris Toomey, who actually was the whole introduction. I didn't, had no plan of going on the KW path. And when I got into that path, um, just amazing opportunity. So with being an agent, the unique thing was my background has always been IT. I've worked for Apple. I've done tech support for years. I've built computers. But my passion is really around the customer service side of things. So I found myself understanding tech easily and having a knack for teaching others and empowering them to use it. So with that, um, I found a lot of it. And then I started actually, my first uh, opportunity in the market center was I started teaching iPad classes because I had gotten an iPad when it first came out. Um, it was right around when I was first an agent and my previous company literally said, you can't teach, you can't train, you can't share your knowledge because I don't like you. Literally the HR person uh, deemed me unworthy because I helped out in a session and she felt threatened for her job, I guess. So what that did is put me on a different path. So I kept having this drive to want to share with us and empower other agents. And even though they wouldn't let me train on a big end, I still did it one-on-one -on -one anyways, right? And helped others. Um, and KW just showed me another path of that. So while I've been an agent, I've just started right off by giving classes in the market center and teaching others to start using the technology that we had. And through that path, I found that my passion is really around helping agents. Yeah. So while I've had a real estate career and I've built a business and stuff, I found, and I started going towards the leadership path of things. So that led me from teaching for several years in the market center. I started teaching at the board of realtors, um, all the MLS classes. Actually, I started writing the guides on how to teach and train the MLS stuff at the MLS board, right? Because their training is different. So KW really changed my life with that. And then through Bold and through all the different classes, um, my whole world has changed. And with that now, um, in 2015, I actually started the path of leadership and became agent of services in my market center. And with that, I also was like, maybe I want to be a team leader one day. Maybe I want to do more, you know, with the tech role. And in 16, we announced we're a tech company. And I literally, the month before, had said, you know, I don't want to have tech on my title because no tech technology person has ever become a team leader. <laughs> so I made the decision to say, why don't you call me director of agent services instead, even though I was still doing tech and doing all that stuff. And I started on a different path. And I ended up in a crossroads from 2017 where I was like, okay, do I go tech route with KW because we're a tech company now? Maybe go to Austin, maybe do something like with labs, like what Bobby's doing and stuff, or do I go on the team leader path? And I was fortunate enough through KWYP and the Young Professionals for an opportunity to become a team leader and launched a market center in Fort Wayne, Indiana. So yeah. I went from the person who's like, I like tech, I like helping agents to becoming a team leader. Um, it was informational and stressful. <laughs> I learned um, that my passion is in helping agents, that the passion isn't necessarily right for the team leader role, um, but I was fortunate enough to end the year in the top 20 for the company for GrossNet, which is something they can never take away, right? Okay. <laughs> Locked into the history books, their success there. And I found while I was doing that, my passion was still around helping the agents with all the new stuff that we have. So KWYP challenged me and Katie Hartman was a big play in this. She said, Jay, what do you want to do? What would be your dream role? 
and she asked me to write it out. So I wrote out, you know what, I imagine myself going to multiple market centers and teaching a lot of this new stuff with the new technology and empowering the new tech enabled agent of the future, right? I imagine myself continuing my path of being a KWU approved trainer, um, maps coaching, all these different things and stuff. And I wrote this dream job and out of the blue a week later, my old company KW called and said, Hey, we have a position that might be what you might, you know, would you even consider coming back? right? And the funniest thing was, it was exactly what they were looking for. We were in alignment. And now I'm director of tech innovation for the Waxman group serving three market centers with a plan and a pipeline for the whole year that by June, I'll start coaching. I'll start my training path. I'll be doing training stuff. So that way I can continue us to grow and continue my own skills. And then I'll be helping more and more agents. As I mean, <laughs> you, this is like, this is a life by design. Correct. Correct. You, you've worked, you discovered your passion, you put it into place, you visualized and you took action and look right. at you now. How cool. Well, and it's just the beginning of it. And sometimes I have yeah. to pinch myself because I'm like, okay, I went away for a year and a half and I had all these experiences. And now one day I'm in an office and I'm like, I've been here before, but it's different. <laughs> yeah. Right? And, and you're now, on the beach a lot, by the way. Well, that's the most important thing. Now, now I'm back to having my beach time. Uh, I'm an Aries, so I'm a fire sign, and I find the ocean is the counteract to that and calms me the most. <laughs> okay, well, I love all of that, and I'm so proud of you. Now, let's get into some, some nuggets that yes. our viewers can take something away, because that's what you love to do. That's what I love to do. Let's, let's, let's arm them with good stuff. Where the heck do we start with all this? Okay, well, the first thing to understand, and I, I'm realizing our opportunity is explain to people what even is labs. Because before I say, here's Kelly, here's command, you're ready to use it, you're not. Because you don't know what it is yet. So I've been finding in a lot of the chat groups, and now that we've changed the whole industry, right? So with Family Reunion, we launched the fact that now everybody has access to Command and Kelly. And I think some people thought the product's done, it's ready for prime time, it's ready to go. So let's start with what is Labs? Labs is in essence us saying, hey, we have an amazing product. Like today's the iPhone. It's not quite done yet. And in order for us to use it correctly, I want you to test it, break it, and help us grow. Yeah. That's what we're doing with Command. And we invite you into Labs process. And we're inviting you. We're not forcing you. If you're not ready for that, if you don't want to be part of that journey, if you don't want to have headaches and frustration to hit the support button, don't do it yet. But yeah. if you are willing to, if you come on this journey, it will be rewarding because you're going to shape the technology of our future. So yeah. today, command is 60% of the way done, right? We're going to go into the system. Things are going to break on us. And the reality is the new tech-enabled agent is okay with that. And it is okay with the fact that I can hit the help button for help, that if something does break, I'm not going to go complain to my market center and I'm not going to go cry to my tech person and say, you fix it. Because yeah. if you hit the support button, you're going to tell the designer, in Austin, Texas to fix it themselves. So you're gonna get your message to the right person and they're gonna to listen to you. And when something isn't the way you want it to, if you have a great idea, that's what the labs icon is in a command. To start saying, hey, let me give feedback. Let me start saying, I wish it had this button. I wish it was blue, what, whatever it is. Yeah. Because if we all start doing that together, how amazing will this product be in a year, two years from now? Yeah. And that process i don't think we realize that's the process that's going to change the industry because no company right now cares what all the agents have to say is going to spend time and money to build this system and not charge our agents more money and then allow you to be in this journey to say hey we're going to go with the designers and i don't know if you noticed this jenny but when we were on the floor with all the tech demos at family reunion did you know those were the designers the actual developers were sitting on the floor with us showing us the product yeah yeah I've never experienced that. I've worked for Apple. I've worked for big companies. I don't have Steve Jobs sitting on the floor with me saying, hey, let me show you how this works, right? Right. Yeah, we've got Josh team sitting in Facebook groups commenting on here's how to fix this. Here's what our next plan is. Inviting us in this process, Gary Keller and Josh sitting in rooms for years with agents saying, what do you want? How do we build this for you? Yeah. And that's never been done in the industry. And I don't think it ever will be because it all comes back to culture. And our culture is that we are open book, that we help each other, that we collaborate together and that we all grow together. And as Josh and Gary said, this is your technology, not theirs, it's not their system that they made. They made it based on what the agent said and we're inviting you to be part of that. 
Yes. So ah. For a tech message is not quite tech right now because we're not ready. We want to invite them in the process. So yeah. I would say to everyone watching, I invite you to join us in the labs process. I want you to come in and play with it and see if your eEdge contacts come over. And if they don't, don't be frustrated. Hit the support button and help us grow. Because what this system will do for your business in the next couple months, it's not going to take years to fix this, a couple months is going to make you more money, save you more time, and it will truly revolutionize the industry. Because if you look at our consumer app, that's kind of where we're going with all this data. Why do I need all my data in one system? And the reality is you as an agent right now, you use an MLS for part of your data, a text message for another part, a separate email address for the other part of it. You use another system for contracts. You use another system for your CRM and none of them talk to each other. So none of that data is coming together. You're not getting smarter with that data. And we're agents that have been doing that so long that we're kind of just like, well, that's just how it is. Yeah. It doesn't have to be. And if we start putting all of our data together, do you realize the power of how Kelly can start predicting when a client's actually going to buy or sell? Because we'll watch all the consumer behaviors on our app. We're going to have all the data you put in the system. We're even going to monitor what they're doing on social media, what they're doing here. And you're going to be able to predict everyone in your database, what they're doing and move them along faster, making you the smartest agent on the planet, making them the more informed consumer. And we're the first company that actually cares what consumers and agents wants. And we don't have stockholders, right? It's the agents. Okay. We are the company built for that. And that's really where we need to go with it. So I invite you to get started with just watching some of these latest in labs. If you haven't been on KDB Connect, if you go to the technology tab, there's a button now that says tech enabled agent. Mm -hmm. That's the pathway of where we're going. And you're not a tech enabled agent, by the way, until you begin step one, which is putting all your database in the system and having addresses, right? Because okay. if there's no address, we yeah. can't start targeting you with market stuff. Because of our focus for the consumer is neighborhood specific data with our partnership with Nextdoor, which if you're watching, I want you to understand no one in the world has that right now. A mm -hmm. consumer cannot search for a neighborhood on any platform because our MLSs did not care about neighborhoods and we weren't paying attention to that. So they can only look by city and zip code yeah. and they can try to draw a map, but they're not going to draw it correctly. So the partnership with Nextdoor brings 175,000 neighborhoods into our system instantly, which will allow the consumer to start searching the way they want to. Yeah. That's why we need this. And if you don't put that stuff in there, then we can't let the system do what it needs to do to predict your business, to give them unique one-to-one -one marketing. And that's really where we're headed. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that, there's so much that just blew my mind inside of that. <laughs> Sorry. Nope. I have the fire hose effect right now because I'm so passionate about it. You're so <laughs> pumped up and I feel it and it gives me goosebumps whenever I speak passion or I hear others. And so during that, I had some goosebumps. Okay. So let's, let's just back up because obviously you say the first step is, is you have to get involved and it's okay if you don't have the time or energy to get involved right now. Like you're off the hook. Like if you're a really busy, successful real estate agent, don't, I mean, first and foremost, isn't our job to go buy and sell houses for help people buy and sell houses. Correct. That's the job. Okay. Right. Right. That's our number one job description. And then this also is a piece, but maybe time block it or what would you recommend? Well, even just pay attention to the latest in labs, right? So Friday, four o'clock Eastern time, three o'clock central time, right? Just see what they're doing. And what I would say is don't totally ignore what's happening. Mm -hmm because you want to know. And at some point it's going to be ready enough that you want to get in. And if you don't, don't get left behind. Cause if yeah. you really wait to get into the system and I'm already using the system and I'm targeting those social media and I'm using the system effectively and we go on an appointment against each other and you don't have the tech enabled agent and I am the tech enabled agent, who's going to get the listing, right? Who's going to get the appointments. Yeah. It will change it. However, you're right. You don't have to put all your system in, but start paying attention. And when you can, go to a class when you can time lock a time to start paying attention and learning. It's so important that how much of our resource are we dedicating to this right now? Yep. Right. Yeah. The company has made this. And the reality is I, after I finally look at everything we've built, this became the one thing that will help with growth, retention, profitability of our agents, production, and will keep us as the permanent number one status forever. Yeah. Because this system, when we get it all working, will allow you to not have to worry about tech as much 
and start doing your job more and now have an assistant in the background, Kelly, paying attention to your database for you. So you can get a nice little nudge today to say, hey, call Billy. He's getting ready to buy a house because he was on your mobile app for three hours and he also filled out his color mortgage late. Yes. Right? If you're not in your system and you're not in our system, then how can our system help you start predicting things like that? Yes. That's brilliant. And thank you for lining it out to be that simple. It's just that simple and right. success is simple and not easy. Not, not <laughs> easy. <laughs> what else are you teaching whenever you're sharing with agents around the, in your market centers and around the country? Correct. So my big focus right now is really around um, Kelly and command, right? Making sure that they're using it and showing what it can do. So if you haven't been in Kelly lately, she's got a new update. She's now becoming more of command mobile. So mm -hmm. think of Kelly more as not just a voice that I can talk to and say, hey, do this, do this. It's starting to actually have cards in there and widgets and access to the command system mobily from your phone, right? Yep. So you're starting to see it evolve already. And I've already seen a preview of 3.0 on a KWIP lab. And in that case, you'll start customizing what those little cards are, like my top people I need to call today. Mm -hmm. um, here's what's on my calendar. Here's my to-do list. Here's my top 20% in mm -hmm. one view right? Easy to use. So that's really what I'm focusing on when it comes to the Kelly app. And then with command, it's really starting to really focus around contacts and opportunities because until you've mastered those two things, you're not ready for a website or a landing page. You haven't worked your database. You don't know what your contacts are doing yet. You don't have enough information to help your contacts start making better decisions and help you get stuff. So we're really focusing on that and taking them from opportunities which they've added the new cultivate stage. So you can start working your pipeline earlier and start having a list of everyone you're working with now and move them between the different stages of once you've gotten the appointment and you move them along because mm -hmm. then that will help you actually see your business in real time. Right now, we only see it if we write it on a whiteboard or maybe I put a little information here, right? If it's just sitting there within my contact record, I'm not looking at my business. Right. So those two things are really helping you and really use the help button, the little question mark up at the top corner. And at the bottom of the screen, if you look at the support icon, you can both ask it questions. So it's a little chat bot to say, hey, I wanna add contacts and it will give you suggestions. And then you also can live chat and hit the uh, contact button to email support right from there. And if you okay. do that, it'll contact them faster than trying to call and say, I'm on hold for three hours and no one will help me. <laughs> so what? Yeah. What are the most, the people that are the most successful in, in this process so far? What is it that they have been doing and how are they staying on top of all this? You know, the really funny thing is think about when you first got your phone, right? You didn't sit in a class all day to learn how to use an iPhone or an Android. You just started using it. So it. the ones I'm finding that are successful are the ones who said, you know, I spent a couple of minutes in the system today and I went in and I played with this and look what I just discovered. Yeah. And then their excitement about it's different than if I just said, oh my God, you see the new feature. And they're like, yeah, I'll get to it tomorrow. I haven't been right. in the system. So what I'm finding is the people who actually go into it and start playing around are discovering things they didn't know. They're noticing, oh, you know what? Today it's different. They added something new. And I'm starting to sense a momentum. And those people are using it at a high level that I'm finding I'm not, like they're doing stuff in class that I didn't even teach them yet. Yeah. She said, oh, did you see the new landing pages? Did you see this new feature? Did you see now they've broken up leads and contacts and it's so cool and it's creating a different energy and those agents are adapting at a higher level. Wow. Okay. So what am, on the other side of that, what are, mm -hmm. what are the agents that are maybe being the grumblers and the ones that aren't adopting? Sure. What, what are you seeing there? How can we change so what I'm seeing with them? Well, a lot of it is it's mindset. That's it. All of this technology is just like real estate. 90% of this is yeah. mindset around it. Yeah. So I've had the person, I'm not techie. It's going to be too hard. Well, yeah. you learn to use your phone eventually. And you also have to use your real estate technology, whether you like it or not, right? You're using your MLS, you're using your email, you're using all these same components. Yeah. All we're asking is what if that was in one place? Would you be able to do your job better? And they start going, well, I guess I could right? And start changing their mind. So that's what I usually ask them. How much time are you spending trying to run a Facebook ad yourself and then trying to manage your contacts from your email and then trying to keep track of where their client messaged you? Text message, Facebook, email, right? We spend so much time on that. I said, would it save you time if I had a way to put that all together? And they always say, oh yeah, that's great. What do you have? Command. Putting it all in is command is your, yes. you're in essence like a phone and we're going to plug in all these different apps that you want to use 
but then it's going to help you run your business more efficiently and save you time and money. And then they usually go, okay, maybe I'll go to your next class. So that's one of the ways I've been helping them change their mind and start asking them, what are you using? How frustrating is that right now? And if there was a better way, would you ever be interested? In and they're all like, yeah, what's, what's out there for that? We built it. <laughs> well, the question I was going to ask you, you kind of went ahead and answered in a roundabout way. I was going to say, now we've been focusing so much on the agents. You've been a team leader. You've been a productivity mm -hmm. coach. You've now been this tech guru for your, for your market centers. Right. Let's talk to those leaders because you know they, they get an earful from real estate yeah. agents. So yes, they do. what would be your uh, recommendation? Because some market centers have focused and have a tech person. Correct. Correct. And maybe not all of them are there yet where they have that sole person that's learning every day what they can be teaching. What, else, what do you got going on there? Well, I think the reality is we have to erase the old way of thinking. The old way of thinking is I have a tech ambassador in the office and it's just their job. And yeah. I don't do tech. I'm the team leader. I don't need to know any of this stuff. I'm the MCA. I don't have to go that. Go to the tech person, right? This isn't working. Go to them. Well, no, we're a technology company. No one is exempt from not knowing technology now. So the reality is now I'm starting to invite my leaders in. I mean, my director of first impression is starting to learn this stuff so she can give you a Kelly tip or at least answer stuff. Um, I've got my MCA starting to actually go in and use the system. Um, when I came back, she literally hadn't been in the system at all. She still had not even logged into command. And was like, sorry, I haven't even gotten to that yet, right? Because their day's really busy. And they said, well, we need to make it a priority because you need to start learning this because you're going to be doing everything in that system, right? And the team leader, they can't recruit with technology because they haven't been in it. They can't actually speak passionately about it if they haven't experienced that this product is saving them time, saving them money. So the way we started with it is I'm like, hey, what if as a leadership team, just start putting some of our agents in the system to play with it? right? Pick your top 20, right? Pick your AOC. Let's say we work with them and get the AOC to start doing the same thing, right? So that we all start adopting and through that, start playing with the fact that you can maybe send them a message or using Twilio to send a mass text once that comes out. Like start imagining what would you use this system for because you will be using it. Even if the team leader portion doesn't come out till quarter two, mm -hmm. you can still use it today. Even if it's, hey, welcome to my recruiting appointment. Let me show you the new system we built. And start yeah. learning those scripts to say, hey, what are your challenges in your real estate business? How much of your technology do you use? Are you prepared to beat and compete against Zillow? What's your company doing to keep you ahead? What's your company doing to fix the solution of you working in 20 systems? And they all go, crickets. Yeah. Let me show you what we've built. Let me show you command. By the way, here's some of the agents I'm working at. Actually, you're a recruit. You're in the system. Here you are. Here's your contact record. I'm logging our notes as we speak right now. That way I have the record with me. Wow. Right. So start getting them involved in it. And then we need to change our leadership mind because the tech, the team leader of the past that says, I don't know technology. I mean, I've been in those appointments where like, don't ask me any technical questions. I don't know it. You don't have to be an expert, but if you don't tell them you have it, I've literally watched recruits that went somewhere else and said, Oh, well they had a mobile app. Like, they don't have what we have because we as team leaders decided that, Oh, I'm not going to tell you about the mobile app. I'm going to tell you about that. Tell them about something ask them about it. It's so much easier now to show them some of this technology, get their hands on it. Ask them how they pull up the CMA right now. How do you find out the market staff, uh, the market data of a neighborhood? And when they don't know, hand them your phone with Kelly yeah, and say, okay, hey, Kelly, snap Imperial Point neighborhood. Oh, wow. Bam. Have them blow their mind because if you stretch their mind on technology, they're going to go back and not find anything like it. Wow. Does that help? Oh my gosh. You are uh, just so valuable in what you're giving back to all of us by sharing your passion and your time and your energy because you got a lot of it. I have quite a bit. <laughs> and this is caffeine free. I mean, <laughs> six days of no sugar and no. Oh, good yeah, job. So, well, so what's uh, the future? Life by design. What's the future for you hold here and then with the, in relation to our technology with Keller Williams as well? Yeah, so I think the big thing is really getting more in depth and more involved in the process. And really, my next vision I see is helping train and coach the team leaders of our market center, right? Because now I understand them at a high level. And I don't know of any other tech person that I know of has been a team leader and understands this at that level to be able to help people recruit with that, right? So I see it more as an opportunity to help the leadership. 
start building the new tech ambassador of the future. So we started doing that in our market center and I've actually started creating um, our own in-office genius bar for two hours a day. That's manned by agents saying, you know what, I'll help you between two and four. And if you have a Kelly or command question, sit down with me and I'll show you a skill and answer your questions. And if you don't know, we'll use the help button because they don't have to be experts. They just have right. to hold their hand. And if you don't know, and by the way, Jay's class is on this date to learn more about Kelly and learn more about command. And then now we have an ecosystem because I can't be everywhere every day. People would love it if I was in their office all day answering nothing but tech questions. So I realized I have to coach and teach the new tech ambassadors and trainers of the world. And that's really where the coach is going to go is to teach leadership and to help build that next tech ambassador of the future. So I would think that um, people to learn more from you specifically could probably follow you on uh, KW Connect. Would you have That's some a great place to follow me? I have a lot of content there. Uh, I think we're up to about 20 different Kelly and Command videos recently, over 200 videos, and I just hit the 2,000 plus uh, subscriber button in my. Uh, I'm one of those. So there you go. <laughs> right, but yes, that's a great way to follow me on KW Connect. You can either ask Kelly, say follow Jay Cermak. Um, you can also go into Command, and if you see any of my videos there, you can just follow me there, and then you'll get an update when the videos come out. And I've broken it down. So the videos are like three minutes or less, short and sweet, and just get to a point. So you don't have to watch a whole half hour video. You can just go, I want to learn how to add a contact and see something simple. Yeah. Okay. So how can people reach out to you or uh, get in touch if they want to squeeze any more knowledge out of your brain? Perfect. Ask Kelly. <laughs> I love the fact that I moved and everyone's like, I don't have your new number. I'm like, Ask Kelly. She has my latest information. She has my number. She has my email. Um, I'd probably say email me is best. You could get me on Facebook. That's how we connected. There you go. I, I just Kelly. had somebody send me something <laughs> what, ready to connect in Kelly. So I love it. Right. So that's the thing. Ask Kelly. She has my number, my email address, right? Reach out to me. I'm on Facebook. I interact in the groups and stuff. And really the next wave will be the new, um, I think they're calling it uh, Connect Next. It's going to be the new KDB Connect Inside Command. And in there is the way that when this evolves, no more Facebook, no more stuff. We're going to do that in there. And that's really the way we'll interact too. Yeah. So it's going to eventually look like our Facebook closed groups inside of Command. Right. Correct. And curated feed based on what you want to learn about. And then that way, when you're a subscriber and follower of me, we'll be able to interact there and chat with stuff inside the system. And so currently, before we get to that point, are there certain closed Facebook groups that you would recommend people join to get more involved? Right now, there's a, a, a new one that just formed out of the blue right before Family Reunion called KW Command. So it's a group you can search for. Um, they verify you're a KW agent before they let you in. They make you ask a couple questions. So just answer the questions. It's okay. Um, they're up to almost 10,000 uh, agents in that group. And what's great about that group is Josh team is in there answering questions. You've got Kaylee and other people who are tech specialists. So you've actually got your support people in these groups replying to you which I've never seen in the industry ever. I've never seen a Steve Jobs or Tim, you know, Tim Cook sitting there, or Tim Apple, right? Typing a message to you saying, hey, here's your answer. <laughs> I am so happy that you agreed to chat with me today and I appreciate you. And uh, I'm just a little envious of your Facebook feed when you go hang out on the beach, just saying. Well, next time you're down here, we'll go to the beach. How about that? that? You come on down it. here, you can bring a class. And I'm then gonna I'll come teach. <laughs> I appreciate you, Jay. I will for sure see you at Mega Camp. I can't wait. Yes. I appreciate right. you. If you guys need anything from me, my number is 918-706-9845 or ask Kelly, find agent Jenny Wallach. <laughs> How about that? I would start changing your message to just say ask Kelly. <laughs> there you go. I'd love it. All right. Bye, Jay. See you later.